Good afternoon. Of the duties granted to governors by our state constitution, few are more consequential than nominating a new justice to the state Supreme Court. The California Supreme Court is the good and great guardian of not just our laws and constitution, but our state's deeply embedded and unwavering dedication to the principle of equal justice under the law. Today, I'm honored to add another distinguished name to that long legacy of jurisprudence. Judge Martin Jenkins is both a product and a protector of the California dream. The son of a Coit Tower janitor and a nurse, Judge Jenkins has spent a lifetime overcoming odds, breaking down barriers, and blazing new trails. A former NFL player, he excelled on the football field before smartly deciding there might be more career longevity on the field of law. As a lawyer and a judge, he's built an irreproachable reputation as a person of fortitude and fairness, a man of inner strength, grace, and compassion, who knows that despite what the Declaration says, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness are not simply inalienable. They must be relentlessly protected and defended. Over a distinguished career that spans more than four decades, Judge Jenkins has worked at every level of our vaunted legal system. A civil rights attorney, a county prosecutor, a municipal, superior, and federal court judge, and appointed by President Bill Clinton. Somehow, we were able to lure him out of a well-deserved retirement at the beginning of my administration to serve as Judicial Appointments Secretary, where he's helped me elevate some of the most able and diverse legal minds ever assembled to the California bench. And now his career culminates in a seat on the California Supreme Court. Judge Martin Jenkins has the right experience at the right time in our state's history. He'll also be making history as only the third black man to serve on our highest court and the first openly gay Supreme Court justice. And trust me, as someone who understands firsthand the, the role of the court in determining marriage equality to be a fundamental right. I can't tell you how important it is to have someone on the bench who's a living, breathing example of the idea that love means love. He hasn't just learned the power of the law to protect our human rights. Martin Jenkins has lived it. So Justice Martin Jenkins is a person of highest principles, and I'm honored today to nominate him to the Californians, Californias highest court. Justice Jenkins. I want to start by thanking you, Governor Newsom. I couldn't have known a little less than two years ago when I accepted your offer to serve as your judicial appointment secretary that I would stand here today as a nominee for the California Supreme Court. It would also be remiss if I did not acknowledge, and I heard you say, Governor, that I am the third African-American man ever to serve on this court but my career spans the first two. I remember well when Wally Emanuel was appointed in 1977 to the California Supreme Court to be followed by Alan Broussard. I understand that it has been 29 years since an African-American man has served on the high court. And I would not be here today without the support and mentorship of both of those men. I think in closing, I want to say something about being a first. There have been firsts and there will continue to be first. There's a significant responsibility that goes with being first that I think can be best dispatched in doing the work at the highest level I possibly can. But I want to say to some young person who may be out there today who is struggling with their identity Anyone who knows me knows my identity has been, as a gay man, perhaps the greatest challenge of my life. And it has not been easy. But I want to say today to those young people who may be watching and those who may hear about what has transpired here, that I am not here in spite of the struggle. I'm here because of the struggle. It has deepened my character, afforded me sensibilities about the world and about people who are not so willing to accept that people can love differently than they do, but nevertheless love sincerely and genuinely 
and effectively. I want these young people to know that living a life of authenticity is the greatest gift you can give yourself. And if you do that, you too will find yourself in a position where people see you. They really see you and who you are, your authentic self. And the extraordinary opportunity I'm being offered today, I thank you, Governor Newsom, for seeing me. And I will promise to do my best to dispatch the enormous responsibilities that incumbent with this great office. Thank you, Governor Newsom.